But there's, besides Facebook, there are whole, there's so many other things. There's Google Apps, you can hear about Google Apps. You often hear about uh, free applications like Google Docs, but they're more powerful paid versions. Uh, and again, echoing uh, the previous speaker, $50 a year per person. So if you're a sole proprietor, 50 bucks, if you've got a small team, you're talking about a couple hundred bucks, you've got a word processor, you've got uh, spreadsheets, you've got presentation software, you've got the ability to create your own uh, uh, internal network, um, you've got all kinds of, of tools um, with Google Apps and a robust marketplace, and we'll hear a lot about this in terms of third party <coughs> developers who depend upon the, the particular niche that you are, you know, they have software that will help make your job easier. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of software, there's a lot of hardware, you can hear about that. So let me introduce your panelists, and this is how it's, it's going to flow. Um, I prefer to have a robust Q&A. Right, where we leave enough time, because a lot of times what happens with, um, with presentations is they wait for the last five to 10 minutes to do Q&A, and it's just a bunch of talking heads flying on at the audience, and I don't prefer that. I prefer to hear, to get your real world feedback, so we keep the presentation short, and we go long on your real challenges and issues. So what I ask the speakers to do, and they generously agree, is to limit their comments each to 10 minutes, but then we're gonna open up for you guys to come up with the specific issues and challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis in your <coughs> business, and they'll be able to answer you know, those questions for you. So, so to my far right, um, we have um, Cornell Green, his company is a 21st century community IT solutions. Of course, he's the tech guy, right? And um, they do everything. So there's four professors, 18 years of experience, um, infrastructure and other types of things. So everything from point of sales systems, for those of you that might be in retailing, uh, computers, and you can hear a lot from him about local technology, <coughs> smartphones, tablets, we also going to hear about open source. Open source, he'll explain it better than I can, but open source is basically um, software, free software. A community goes out there and they create the software, they update it and put it out there with a special licensing system, and then you're able to use it either as is or take it and make modifications internally for your own company. And this it's this movement that has been you know, just growing in the past 10 years all over the place. It's really, it's really phenomenal. But he also talks about mobile technology. Uh, as I said to, to you guys last year, there's like 305 million smartphones shipped last year. They expect another 472 million on top of that. These things are ubiquitous. If you are a business owner and you don't have a smartphone, you're not, you're not doing yourself any favors in terms of how you run your business. And don't talk to me about the cost. At most, you're going to pay you know, 250 bucks for the hardware, the initial hardware, and then whatever the service you work out with the, uh, the company. But what it enables you to do, these things are computers. This has more power than what launched the Apollo uh, space flights, you know, 20, 30 years ago. These things that everyone's walking around, these are computers. You might call them a mobile phone, but these are computers that happen to have a phone feature. And personally, I use the phone the least on my system. Um, payroll on here, I have my CRM, I put the customer relationship management, you can do all of that. But again, I don't want to get in the way of my panelists. Um, and then we have uh, Derek Webster from Vanguard Consulting Group, and Derek is a, uh, Derek is an expert in branding and brand strategies and marketing. Um, Second. 
So um, Derek is an is a expert on, on brand strategy, market research. Um, he also is a business consultant, so he does a, a lot of consulting for the um, uh, HBA, for Queens um, Economic Development Corporation, for um, the Institute for Entrepreneurship Leadership, for the SUNY 11 program. So you know he's, he's well respected around the city in terms of what he brings to the table for coaching. He also has an online marketing service uh, called Easy Cypher, and he'll tell you a little bit more about that, but as you can probably tell from the name, uh, you know, it's stuff that can help you get online quickly. And there's, there's so many resources uh, to help you do that. And I think Ms. Taylor Bass was talking about some blogging platforms uh, like, the, like WordPress. Another is, uh, is very popular with Tumblr, right? It's a free and, uh, uh, application. It's not spelled as it sounds. It's Tumblr, but there's no E before the R. And that's what you know, all these kids are doing nowadays. They're changing, you know, they're trying to just give you the way something sounds and they're dropping all kinds of letters. Uh, but Tumblr is a dead simple uh, word processing platform, just like WordPress, um, just like WordPress, not as, as as large as WordPress, but it's the fastest grower. And then Google still has a blogging platform called Blogger. Again, I don't want to take the thunder of my uh, my because they they got all of that covered. So, without any further ado, we're going to start with uh, with Derek and then Cornell. We do ten minutes each. Uh, think about your questions, because again, I want this to be uh, driven by you and your issues and your concerns and your challenges. So, uh, Derek. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's great to be here. Uh, I want to thank uh, Ms. Regina Smith for the invitation. Oh, you need to stand? That's fine. Guys to see me in the back, right? Yeah, I'll come over there. Good thing I'm not carrying too many wires. That would make it awkward, right? Uh, again, I just want to thank Regina and uh, the HBA family for the invitation. Um, as Lloyd mentioned, I get an opportunity to travel a bit around the city and in New Jersey, um, working as a business consultant and coach. Um, currently, I'm a facilitator for uh, NYC Business Solutions. Uh, some of you may have seen me uh, throughout the boroughs, um, in um, uh, all five boroughs in New York City, as well as New Jersey. I'm now uh, traveling to uh, Irvington, uh, Plainfield, and uh, Newark uh, facilitating uh, business entrepreneurship uh, training programs there. Um, this is all born out of a passion. Uh, the passion is for my family, and um, uh, I have uh, I have to mention it now because it makes sure it, it ensures that I have good karma <laughs> when I'm up here when I mention my two children, um, who are three and five and a half months, and my wife who is also an entrepreneur. Uh, I say that to say uh, that the prioritizing the, uh, the work-life balance has been key for a small business owner like myself. Uh, my first foray into business was uh, in 2007 where I raised uh, with some colleagues about $1.5 million to do a digital marketing company that would travel around the country uh, focusing on digital advertising. And some of you may have seen that in elevators there. It's a little screen now. There's advertising on it. 